Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for at any time in May. This is my second May reading for you. I will attach the first one to the end of this video. What do we have for Aries, the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Aries? Shared values. So this is you connecting with somebody that you have a lot in common with. You may be making some sort of an agreement with a person that uh, you have shared values with. Starting with a clean slate. So it looks like this is like a blank canvas, right? It's uh, an opportunity to create whatever you want. You have a clean slate here. This is obviously a partnership with somebody. Could be anybody in regards to any situation in your life. You don't know your value. Interesting. So I feel like you, and this is shared value. So we have the word value twice. I feel like you need to remember your value. I think that uh, you've obviously forgotten your worth or your value or something like that. Perhaps you've settled for something that... Uh, doesn't align with who you are and you need to reevaluate. It feels like it's time for you to rebuild or create a new life because of this blank slate or this clean slate. This is like a blank canvas. You can create whatever you want. I feel like you have an opportunity at this time to create something with a partner that you have a lot in common with and you have shared values with okay and you will probably probably be presented with the opportunity to do so um, but during this time you do need to remember your value remember your value remember your worth do not um, doubt who you are and uh, what you're capable of and what you can create because obviously you have a lot of value to offer and there is somebody out there that is on the same level as you that can help you to create whatever it is that you are trying to create. So what do we have for Aries? Patience. Now, this is a card of timing. I see a clock. I think of timing, divine timing. This is going over here. I think that you've had to wait for something. You are going to get something better than you even expect. I think it's definitely time. It's time for you to align, to align with somebody that is on your level. I know that's what this is. I think that you have probably been waiting. Um, or you haven't known your value. Maybe you didn't even know that your value, right? You didn't even know uh, what you were waiting for. You didn't even know that you weren't being valued, you know? But I think this is a time of change. I really do with that clean slate. I think that uh, you're cha maybe you've evolved, you know? Because it, whenever I see the patience card, I think of the temperance card. And the temperance card is a card of evolving. I think you have evolved into a different person. And I feel like now you're about to receive something even better with an individual. There is an individual here. We've got two people, okay? We, you're going to be re receiving an opportunity with another person that um, maybe you didn't even know that, that this was coming. I don't think you do. I don't think that you did or you do or that uh, you expected this at all. I feel like there's definitely a realignment here and you're going to be receiving something. You have evolved over time. You probably didn't know your value, but I think that when you get together with this person, whoever this person is, and, and this is some sort of partnership. doesn't have to be a love partnership. could be a work partnership. could be a friendship. I do think that you're, you're going to see 
you know, some sort of, oh, it's like synchronicity, it's like ease, it's like, wow, that kind of energy, wow, I didn't know that it, this could be so easy, you know, that kind of energy. Anyway, you are going to be connecting with somebody that, and when I see temperance, and I, I really feel like this is the temperance card, it's like the temperance card. It's like exchanging something lesser for something better. But you have been in a situation, and I think these cards should be reversed because typically this is my past. I think you've been in a situation where you didn't know your value and you settled for somebody that caused your evolution, right? Because it's the lessons in our life that teach us who we are and build our character. And I do feel like you have settled. I think that you have settled, but I see you starting over because of this clean slate with somebody that you have shared values with. Um, so yeah. When I see the temperance card, it's divine timing. It's the time is now. I think that uh, it's time for you to receive. Entrepreneur. This may have to do with a job or work. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. You're going to be partnering up with somebody that can help you to be successful. Okay, and this may be a business partnership. It could be a could be a love partnership that that is is both okay it, it, it could be a, a team okay it could be a team effort to create maybe it's a business or a relationship either way um, I do believe that you are going to be creating something new with a partner that leads to success that's up but the timing is on you and the choice is always yours you have been in a situation where you don't know your value and for some reason you it's time because it's time to start with a clean slate and align yourself with somebody that you do have shared values with okay stop stop wasting your time on somebody that because you don't know your value or on a job or a situation or whatever it is that you, this is you know what it is i don't have to tell you Okay, but I feel like you have not known your obviously. I mean, the card is clear. You don't. You don't. But you have the skills. You have the skills to be successful and create whatever you want. And for some of you, this is a business venture. You know, a business venture where you. And this is this is with somebody else. I feel like you. But you have to. Um, feel like you have to take action you have to start painting that picture you know right now it's it's blank and I think that you've been in a situation that you know things haven't been progressing because you have to team up with whoever this person is but I think that you're in a situation now that you probably need to change because temperance is about change it is about compromising to uh, create, to create harmony in your life. So I think that you're probably going to have to make some compromises. High Priestess, you could be dealing with a psychic, tarot reader, medium. Um, you also may have a gift or you're dealing with somebody that has a gift. This is, this is somebody that is very, very gifted. Um, intuition, you need to follow your intuition. You may... You may have uh, somebody that can guide you. This is a spiritual counselor, um, spiritual guidance. This could even be your gut that is guiding you. I do believe that you are going to be aligning with somebody that is very, very spiritual and gifted. Shared values connected to this high priestess. This high priestess is part of the script. She carries the script in her hands. Okay, she's part of the script. She has the skills. Very self-sufficient. Independent. Knowledgeable. 
Page of Wands. Now, this is, could be a new suitor. This is a new suitor that you have a lot in common with. This is. I do believe that you are going to be receiving an offer or an invite, or you could be making the offer or the invite. This person may be... Uh, very adventurous but also a loner because we have a loner but we have a new adventure here so it's interesting this is an offer or an invite or good news or a new opportunity this is going in a new direction you may be guided to go in a new direction this is a new suitor with somebody or a new opportunity with somebody that you have a lot in common with. So I do think that you're going to be partnering. This is a partnership. It really is. You're going to be partnering up with somebody that is very gifted. This person is very spiritual. And there's an opportunity for growth here. There's an opportunity to grow something because pages are... Uh, New beginnings, right? It is the beginning, but it's also growth. The page of Wands is about growth. Um, this is taking a new approach. It's very positive energy. I feel like um, this is a. It's like a new discovery, right? Traveling in a new direction, uh, inventing or creating something. Some of you may also have a gift or you're dealing with somebody that has a gift. This is somebody that is very, very spiritual, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with that has a gift. And this is uh, creating something. This is a new beginning. It really is. I do believe that uh, you need to let go of your fear. Move forward in a fearless manner. Don't, don't let fear hold you back. I think that there is a need for new things here. Maybe your gut has been telling you or you've connected with somebody already. Maybe a tarot reader because a high priestess is a tarot reader or a spiritual guide. Or somebody that is very spiritual may have told you that it's time to go in a new direction. If that is the case, the answer is yes. This is absolutely exciting when you get the page of wands. You have to be brave though. And I do feel like you have been guided, okay, to start over with a clean slate, but you don't know your value. And I think that there's fear in the way. Oh, my God. Ace of Pentacles, golden opportunity. This is a new investment. It is money. It is prosperity. It is a new business. It is a windfall. It's financial stability, financial security, long-term success. This is permanent success. You have a golden opportunity for uh, an exciting new life, honestly. I mean, this Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity that you can take to the bank. This is a golden opportunity. So you're, you're going to be, this is an an offer or an invite that leads to permanent success, that leads to money and stability and security. And this is a gift. We have a gift here and we have a gift here. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is gifted or you are very gifted. Um, there is an opportunity for long-term prosperity and abundance, but you have to be brave because the Page of Wands is about bravery. You have to express. You have to express yourself. You have to be willing to start with a clean slate. You have to be creative. You have to get creative. Um, and I feel like you haven't been... Uh, you don't know your value. You don't know that you have the skills. You, ha or you are dealing with somebody that you don't know has the skills. We have skills here. Okay? But you have to create your new, your clean slate. You have to create the picture. You have to create the canvas. Okay? And you have to listen to your gut and just go for it. Don't let fear get in the way. So anyway, Aries, I feel like, I feel like at some time during the rest of this month you have an opportunity for long-term success for money okay to make money start your own business or partner up with somebody that can help you to create this prosperity this is with a partner it is it's not just independent because of this that it is with a partner i feel like you have an opportunity to partner up with somebody that is um 
very, very spiritual. And, and you must have a spiritual background as well because there's shared values here. So there's, if they, when there's shared values, these two people are a lot alike. This is somebody you have a lot in common with. You have shared values with this person. But I feel like you are missing, or you have been missing an opportunity because of fear. I think it's because of fear and the and not accepting your evolution. I feel like you've changed. You're not the same person that you used to be. And I think that you're connected to somebody that you probably need to uh, let go of. Because if you think about temperance, it's exchanging something lesser for something better. And temperance comes after death, which comes after an ending. So I think that you've got to let go. You need to release something that is no longer um, beneficial to your success. And I think you've evolved out of that partnership. Now the universe has brought in you something that is better suited for you. This person is, is probably... Um, adventurous in some way you know there's there, there could be a mystery mysterious mysterious it's a mysterious energetic uh energy which is interesting it's mysterious but it's also laid back because of that high priestess this is this is mysterious and laid back and observant this is a go-getter okay so i think you're dealing with somebody that is very mysterious but also very exciting to you or something like that anyhow there is a new opportunity here that you can take to the bank this is a gift this is something that you can touch that you can hang on to that can last for a lifetime okay but you're gonna have to just go for it you gotta go for it um, so I do think that you are going to be connecting with somebody that you have a lot in common with, but it will require some sort of change on your part. Empress reversed. Woo. Hermit. So the Empress reversed is not knowing your value. Oh, God. That's somebody that doesn't know their value. The Empress in reverse. Somebody that... The Empress in the upright. I know who she is. She is the queen. The queen of all queens. She is the queen of value. You could be dealing... She's abundant in the upright. She's very, very abundant in every way. In the reversed... And this is, could be a male or a female energy, okay, as, as I'm seeing it right now. We have somebody here that doesn't know their value. This is somebody that doesn't know their worth, that is lacking abundance and beauty and growth in their life. And they're suffering, all right? They're in some sort of pain. And there's no reason for it. There's no reason for it. All you have to do is suffer through through the pain, unfortunately, because the empress gives birth and it's painful. It's painful to give birth. She gives birth and then she delivers and then she receives a blessing. The blessing is right here. You, you're going to have to release something. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. You could be dealing with an individual that really doesn't love you, no offense or anything, there could be mother issues here. There could You could be dealing with somebody that there's like a lack of love. There's a lack of abundance. There's a lack of tender love and care. This is somebody that is mean-spirited that... Uh, I don't know if this person is greedy, selfish, forceful, self-absorbed. I feel like you... And this could be an ex-wife, could be the wife that you have now, could be a girlfriend. I think this is the person that you need to... Uh, well, this hermit is about reevaluation. It's reflect, taking a time out to think about whoever it is that you're dealing with. I think you're dealing with somebody right now that is very self-absorbed. This person doesn't take care of you the way that they should or they, that, that you would like them to. This person is not very abundant. They may not have, may not treat you very well. They may be, be very, very greedy and they don't, and they have taught you that you're not valuable enough. I feel like they have, you don't know your value. I think you're settling for somebody who's not giving you the tender, loving care that you need. 
Anyhow, I do believe that it is a time of reflection, a time of realization in your future. I think that you will be going within to reflect. I feel like you are, uh, well, that hermit is a time of reflection, going within, taking a time out, reevaluating, planning, realizing your goals you may be you i think that there there's something that has made you wiser there's also uh mother issues here we have somebody here that wasn't taken care of there's like absence of a mother there's an absent mother here I feel like there's an absence of love here as well because we got no cups and we got the Empress reversed. There's an absence of love. Where is the love? I don't see it. Everybody needs love. I feel like you have been led astray by somebody that is mean. This person is mean-spirited. Anyway, I do believe that you are going to be reflecting. You're going to be reflecting. You're going to be reevaluating. You have a golden opportunity in your hands right now. If you don't have it right now, it's coming this could be a bank offer or a job offer or a new opportunity to, G, to start a business with somebody else. There is a partnership here to partner up with somebody that is gifted, that is uh, exciting. This is somebody that you have a lot in common with, but it will require you to, it will be painful, okay? It will be painful to release whoever it is that you have to release. There is some sort of release here that Empress reversed. And you will need time to reflect and go within. And perhaps you need to be alone for a little while. You know, sometimes people don't want to be alone. You know, being alone for a little while never hurt anybody because then it gives you time to realize who you are. It gives you time to realize your true identity. And maybe, maybe that's what's going to happen. Time alone. I see you spending time alone to reflect on something. Anyhow, I do believe that uh, you have a new opportunity that is, is right here. It's right here. It's right in the palm of your hands. And you have been not realizing your value and staying in a situation where there's no love. And I feel like you need, you have an opportunity to partner up with somebody. Somebody is, if you have not met this person already, this person um, could come into your life very, very, very soon. We have the Knight of Wands on the bottom here and the Knight of, uh, or the Page of Wands right here. So this is like an entrance. Um, it's time to take action. This is act now. Think later. Stop procrastinating. Just do it. Just do it. It's time for a change. It is time for a change. You're supposed to be abundant. That's what, that's what God wants. God wants you to be abundant. And I feel like there's a lack of abundance here and love. But they're going to give you an opportunity. So I do believe that you have an opportunity that is coming. You may also be receiving, an, well you are going to be receiving, or you have an opportunity. There's an offer or an invite here in which you need to reflect and think about your future. Think about your abundance. Think about your value. I'm going to read this one more time. 
self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition in divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Get it? In all ways. They want you to be abundant. They want you to be successful. And you have an opportunity right now. We have a very gifted individual, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, that can help you to be successful. But if you're dealing with an empress in the upright, she does not involve herself in third party situations. Good luck. <laughs>